Let's take a look at the rhythmic version of Greasy Coat. Um, we're going to start out on the first measure here. We're going to have our hands, our fingers in this general position uh, quite a bit in this tune, especially in the beginning. We'll have uh, our second finger on the third fret, third string, first finger on the second fret, second string. This is kind of related to a chord shape. I'm not going to get into that too much here. I'm just going to show you how to play it. Um, at the time of this video, the time I'm making this video, I'm also working on a course teaching you how to arrange tunes and melodies for the claw hammer banjo, uh, which will give you more insight to kind of where these arrangements come from, both the rhythmic and the melodic arrangements. Um, so if you want more info on that, keep an eye out for that course. If you're watching this video in the future, that course is probably already available. You can check that out at playbetterbanjo.com. Um, for now, I'll just go through measure by measure for you. Here's measure number one. So I've kept this chord position, but I did lift up my second finger to open it up for that open string. Into measure number two, still leaving my first finger where it was, um, and I'm going to drop my second finger back down to the third third fret here in a sec. Um, but you'll notice, as you've seen a lot in this lesson pack, we have the fifth string note uh, lingering over into the first half of the first beat of this measure. So we start this measure with a thumb note, third fret, third string. some help thinking about that measure if it helps to count it it would be one and two and three and four and so notice we're still hovering around this partial chord shape here gonna throw the third fret note back down first half of the measure is just a basic strum And the second half, we're opening up the third string again, moving the our second finger over to catch the third fret on the fourth string. Then we're doing a drop thumb, followed by a phantom stroke. So that whole measure again. Do that a little more cleanly for you. take us to the second line first measure just some boom notes followed by a basic strum take us to the second measure in the second line notice the parentheses indicating that we either heavily de-emphasize that Part of the strum or that we miss it all together that's what it's called a phantom stroke
give you a couple demonstrations where I do a proper phantom stroke and just miss those parentheses notes all together. Uh, let's move on to the next measure here. We're sliding into that, our old friend, the second fret, second string. That should all make sense to you at this point. So let's move on to the third line, first measure. And that's the same, of course, as the third measure in the previous line. And then our final measure. This is really a variation of what we had in the first measure of the previous line. No surprises there, so that shouldn't give you much trouble. Well, that's the end of the A part. Let's take a look at the B part now. That's the first measure on the fourth line. Again, notice we have a thumb note that is extending over into the first half of the next beat. So again, that's a phantom stroke. One more time for you. If these motions are new to you, or if they're giving you trouble, make sure you pay really close attention to the markings underneath the tab 